recently with Sports Illustrated. Uh, he was asked about his feelings about Danny Ainge, and I, and I want to read you the quote, and then I want to sure. get your take since you've been so embedded and you know the team. He says, I might not ever talk to Danny again. That might not happen. I'll talk to everybody else, but what he did knowing everything I went through, you don't do that. Bro, that's not right. Every team in this situation comes out a year or two later and says, we made a mistake. <laughs> that's what they'll say too. So IT suggesting that Danny, the Celtics, they'll regret trading him for Kyrie. Your thoughts? Well, and that's why you love a IT because that's the kind of confidence he brings to every team and that's what he brought to the Celtics. But I will say this, he got a raw deal. Everyone can agree with that. What he went through with his sister, playing injured, all of those things, he deserved better, but here comes the but. It is a business, and to my knowledge, the Celtics never told him, hey, you know what, IT, we're gonna, we're gonna sign you to a max deal, because they could have done that, yeah. and they never did. I always felt that if they could move on from IT with an with a all-star type player, they would, and that's exactly what happened. I feel for Isaiah Thomas, because everything he said was true. The most interesting thing I thought he said in this interview, though, was, I shouldn't have played in the playoffs with that hip. Mm. So my next question is, well, who made you play? Did you playoffs. play? Yeah. Did the team put pressure on you to play? So that's the follow-up to this story. I tried to reach Danny Ainge before we came on the air here and wasn't able to. But. Yeah, that's a great question. We shall see if, in fact, he'll right. respond. So let me, you talk about him getting a raw deal. Um, well, it's just from a personal standpoint. From a business standpoint, <laughs> this is how it works. This is how it works. There's never any guarantees. Okay, so why was he under the impression that it sounds as if he was under the impression he was there for to stay, or at least the heart of it? Well, and I can understand why he would feel that way. What he did was he rejuvenated that franchise. He was certainly the most popular player in the league. Uh, I mean, in, on the team and in that city. He did a lot for the city in terms of uh, community relations and all that. But this is a business carry, and going forward, they determined if we can get Kyrie Irvin and Gordon Hayward and move forward with that, we're going to have a better chance going forward uh, with our young players mm -hmm. and have a bridge for to be good now, but also for when LeBron finally ends up retiring or doing whatever. Sure. So I understand exactly why the Celtics would do it. To be honest, I would have done it as well. Uh, well, because I was just going to go back to what you said. You had been saying all along you didn't think they were going to keep them. And I that, really just didn't. the optics of it didn't yeah, look good. That's it. That's it. Kind of like my hair right now. No, my <laughs> hair is just sticking up. No, it's fine. Moving forward, though, uh, do you think, in fact, he'll find peace with the uh, inter not peace, but he'll do well? with the, the Cavs? Well, I have some sympathy for Isaiah Thomas because now he's got this hip injury that turns out to be more serious than everybody thought. He's probably not going to come back till January. So now, the Cavaliers, if LeBron moves on, do they give Isaiah Thomas a max deal? Probably not. Danny Isaiah came out today and said he might not speak to you again because he was a little upset with how things played out. Did Danny, he really? You know, that's the hard part of the job. I mean, it's that's the, you know, I know that there's a lot of feelings that go on when, when these type of things happen. I was a player that was traded twice, so I understand um, his sentiments, but, you know, you guys know how much I love Isaiah. He's a great kid, and I wish him the best. Have you got a chance to talk to him besides beyond that first day? No. Is that something where you'll, you'll try to mend things later on once some time has passed, or? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I would, tr I would try to, but I, I have no idea. You know, that takes two people, and obviously he said some things today that very has some very strong feelings and strong emotions, and, and I understand those.